picture to them, they sent me back an email saying, and I quote, your picture was rejected for the following reasons. Number one, the picture was not of a person. <laughs> what? Thanks very much. Number two, the picture was wider than it was tall. Oh, come on, come on. I know I've lost a bit of weight recently, but am I Cyril Smith? Am I? She's a fine. She's a fine. So, it's uh, time. I've only got six minutes. I've only got six minutes. I've only got six minutes. What are we going to do? What are we going to fucking do? What are we going to I've only got six minutes. Six minutes. I've only got six minutes. I've only got six minutes. I had ten. I've only got six. Austerity, you fucking austerity, kill Cameron! I had ten, I've only got six! I've only got six! I had ten, I've only got six! I think time is going faster. It is, everyone else think time is going faster and faster and faster. What I reckon, right, the world is actually going round faster and faster and faster! That's why I've only got fucking six minutes! The fucking six minutes! I've fucking got that! I've got fucking six minutes! How much have I got now? Five and a half? Six minutes! I've gone faster and faster! What I decided to do, yeah, I thought I'll do an in-depth study into the nature of time. Right? Huh? But I didn't have time. <laughs> So what I've done, what I've actually done, I've done a shallow study into the nature of time. But I think you'll find I've come up with some pretty interesting findings nevertheless. What I discovered was, if you don't get the week off for a good start on Monday, you're fucked. It's all about momentum, isn't it? Because Monday, if you get the Monday lunch done, if you don't fuck all, then it's Tuesday, innit? Always fucking rains on Tuesday. You get everything done on fucking Tuesday. You get to Wednesday lunch time, it's midweek, you've done fuck all. <laughs> and then it's fucking Thursday, innit? You think, where the fuck did that come from, right? Thursday? It's personally fucking Friday, which is a fucking weekend, innit? You think, oh yeah, have a lovely weekend, you get to Saturday, relax. You spend all fucking Saturday recovering from the fucking thing, you done fuck all the rest of the week. <laughs> fucking depressing. Then Sunday's the most depressing day of the week, so next day's fucking Monday. And that's the fucking day before Tuesday, innit? And then it's fucking rains on Tuesday, you get everything fucking done. You might as well fucking kill yourself. <laughs> Happy 
Qu'est-ce que tu fais tout ce temps? On the night of time. I hope that was helpful for you. Well, as well as being an international superstar in the comedy realm, in fact, you might not believe this, right? A few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, before I became famous, I was playing the smaller clubs. <laughs> it's not all rock and roll, you know, it's not all glory like this. I'm not reading my material, I'm just trying to work out how long I've got left to live. <laughs> I've got no idea how much of the six minutes we've got left now. This is fucking the end of the world. It's the fucking end of the world. We fucking, where are we? He's born. It's all about to end. How long have I got? How long have I done? Is that it? I'm not getting a light. I'm not getting right. I'm continuing. Fucking hell, this is the end of a show. Don't get as many as this in Edinburgh. As well as being a comic, I'm an actor. <laughs> To be honest, my acting career, you look scared. My... <laughs> Sorry, did I spit at you earlier? I was aiming for him. <laughs> my acting career's not going too well. But I had a, I was going to, thought I was going to get a big breakthrough, right? My, my, my agent phoned me up recently, got, a, got an audition for me. They sent me to the audition, and normally the audition don't go too well. Like you, you're just in there and out there, they don't give you a chance, and there's about 1,000 like, actors waiting in, in the line for the part. Right? But this time it was different. This time it went really well. Really, really well, right? And uh, the part was for um, it was a, a, a dead body uh, in, in, in casualty. Right? And I just felt, you know, it was just so, it just went so well. I was, I was really into the character. I really understood the character. You know what I mean? I really felt connected to the character. I feel like I'm out for you. Like, I don't have much luck with women. My Icelandic girlfriend, frigid. It's not going anywhere. That relationship. <sighs> Doesn't usually go as well as this. <laughs> it's lucky it never come this well. You are lovely. Thank you very much. Good night. Yay! And the lonely fools of a man. <laughs>